Hi, I'm Dean Perrine, Executive Vice President of JSA, and on behalf of 1623 Farnham, I'd like to welcome Mr. Mr. Mark Shaw. Mark is the CEO of OPTK Networks, and Mr. Todd Cushing. Todd is the President of 1623 Farnham. Gentlemen, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me today. Appreciate the invite. You got it. You got it. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Mark, we're going to start with you. Uh, why don't you start a little bit by telling our viewers a little bit about OPT or OPTK Networks. Um, and I understand that you've had a, a major rebrand. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that too? Sure. We're uh, Optic Networks is how you pronounce that. We, um, we went with the, the different spelling to, to set us apart, but Optic is a little easier to pronounce. Um, we're a fiber-based communications provider. We're business only. We provide a carrier grade service. We have very large internet connections out to the world, home back to several different geographic gateways in Omaha, Denver, Minneapolis, and Chicago. Uh, we also provide ethernet backhaul for cellular carriers. Cell phones work best when that signal is brought down from the tower as soon as possible and transported over fiber. Uh, we provide ethernet transport around the state and into the surrounding states. Essentially, we provide a high speed, highly reliable, large bandwidth connection um, both in and out of the state for national and regional carriers, schools, government agencies, and businesses like banking and healthcare. Um, really, anyone who relies on their data connections in order to do their business uh, is, a, is a good fit for our product. Uh, you know, in terms of a really brief history, we're about 10 years old. We started by connecting some of the independent phone companies together, and then we built our own fiber from Shadron to Sydney and Sydney to Omaha. And we also built some metro fiber in the towns we passed, like Shadron, Sydney, North Platte, Grand Island. And we have extensive uh, metro fiber in Lincoln and Omaha. We also have direct fiber access in many of the smaller towns that are along those same corridors. You know, in regards to the rebrand you mentioned, we recently built fiber across the borders into Iowa and Colorado to provide additional routes and diversity for our customers there. And it was those connections and those other states that actually drove our rebranding effort uh, we're proud of our Nebraska roots. There's been no change in our ownership driving this, but we needed a name that was a little bigger, one that didn't imply geographic boundaries that no longer existed like Nebraska Link did, and that's how we landed on Optic Networks. Outstanding. Um, so you mentioned uh, some, some Denver info in there. Um, why don't you tell, tell us a little bit about um, the new and exciting things that are coming out of the, the Optic uh, the newsroom with regard to Denver? Yeah, so our, our Denver route is about as new as it gets. We just finished that a few weeks ago. It's a completely new route from 1623 Farnham in Omaha to 910 15th Street in Denver. It, it benefits almost everyone in the state as it provides a diverse route between those two cities with on-off access points along the state or along that route. And it also provides a much greater level of diversity. Prior to this route, almost everyone had to be on the same route between Lincoln or Omaha and fiber cuts or any disruption on that path were very service affecting. And the only way to get a protect route was to introduce latency by taking the long way around, you know, down through Kansas City uh, and around. Excellent. So, uh, guys, we're here to really talk about the partnership. And, um, and so, you know, that, that partnership between Optic and 1623, um, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't uh, you know, born out of happenstance. Um, but so why did, why did 1623 uh, Farm ultimately decide um, to partner with, with Optic and, and vice versa? And, uh, I, think, I think back in the day, it was, uh, we sort of picked each other just by proximity. It was 1623 was a, an address. It's where our other carriers were starting, but the Nebraska Link, now Optic, were in the first three that decided to come to that address. So they they have built uh, out several connection points from our facility to the locations that, that Mark mentioned earlier. So we're, we're important to their network, which we appreciate, but we also see that they're part of our ecosystem of what we're trying to grow in our business and who we want to be. So that as their business evolved from what they were and if more products, more services are added, it falls right in line with what we want to do. So it's, they've always been, you know, high integrity folks that our commitment was good, was important. It was good uh, to do a relay, have a relationship with, but we have found that the location sort of picked itself and that's how they ended up there. Very good. And uh, go I'll just add to that quickly. You know, our, our decision to terminate the fiber out at 1623 was pretty easy. Like Todd said, we've been with them from the start. Um, they, they're really they're the carrier hotel in Nebraska. Uh, they provide reliable and responsive service. Um, 
we couldn't ask for a better partner. And, and so honestly, uh, we didn't really entertain any other option. We always knew that we were going to terminate this fiber at 1623, uh, even back to when we first started planning the route. Um, that, that's great. I mean, it's, it's good to have uh, those relationships, right? Um, but why don't we talk a little bit about, uh, you know, how the, how the partnership ultimately helps your individual customer bases. And Todd, why don't we start with you? Tell us a little bit uh, more about how that partnership, again, um, helps your, uh, your, your end user customers. You, you bet. So a lot of times people will come to us and we're neutral relative to carriers and who you might come with. But when we have a conversation with them about people who can give them diversity and quality, it's, it's about who Optic is. So we, we felt that there was a good partnership there that we could hand people to them as an option. Ultimately, the client would pick, but it's not uncommon for the client to filter through options and decide to be with Optic. The ability to grow their business grows our business. So that's really what, how it works. It's a, it's a win-win scenario. And that's, that's really the basis of our business. Uh, and I can say from our side, many, if not all of our national and regional wholesale customers are, are co-located at 1623 Farnham. Now, if we need to, we can put up new connections in, in hours. Um, most of the government agencies we work with all have a presence there. We can do the same with them. And, and especially in the dark fiber world, if someone leases fiber, there's a good chance that they're already located at 1623. They're going to locate at 1623 or whoever they're going to connect to is, is there as well. And so it, it really, I mean, it was a logical choice. Um, and, and I'm glad to hear that, that the fiber route w will help draw customers in for you as well. That was something we had hoped for. Uh, like I said, both of our companies getting started relatively at the same time. Uh, it's, it's been a great relationship. We've, we've not even entertained looking anywhere else. You know, Mark, it's an impressive number of cross connects and interconnects you're doing in the facility. And we really appreciate it. Thanks. Guys, thank you very much. Um, a great, uh, great synopsis on the relationship. We appreciate it and we uh, hope the best for you and hope that it's uh, fruitful for, for everyone. So thank you very much for being with us today. Nope. Thank not you, Dean. Thank you.